You said you get a lot of love in the A, bro. Yeah, I get. I don't say exactly what you said, but no, no, I get love in the A. Nah, for sure, I get love in the A. Um, this is like, like my eighth time, ninth time out here. Like for real, like every time I come out here, I just network with people and just try to do my best with networking. So every time I come here, I just at least try to leave at least. My goal was like when I first start coming in 2018 was leaving like 10, 20 Instagrams. It went from that to like hundreds of people, and then you know, just bro, this is independent <laughs> from the ground up, bro. It's like this is it don't get no more to the independent than this, bro. Like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go and get like ten Instagram followers, yeah, hundred Instagram, Instagram followers, yeah. No, and that's how I support you. Yeah, you grow up from there because like them same people, even if like let's say let's say out of the ten, like three people show you love, Psh, that's a win. You from facts. Atlanta, you don't from care. New York, so yeah, that's how I took it. That's how I took it us. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. What's popping? You know the gang. You know the vibe. Uh, J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We're in the building. Kyron here. MJ here. Want me to start over? Damn, bro. You tell me to start over. <laughs> you, see how, you see how they do me, bro? I ain't starting over, bro. We got St. Rose in the building. What up, dog? Yes, sir. Kyron is here. MJ mm-hmm. is here. What's popping? You know what time it is. It's your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We're in the building. Um. I uh, I uh, I miss these interviews, kind of. Damn, that's a blessing. It feel good to say that, right? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, jeez, <laughs> who am I? That's crazy. <laughs> I miss these interviews. Damn, God is blessing me for real. Mm-hmm. Yo, St. Rose in the building. What up, dog? How you doing? Bro? Uh, I think we spoke um talking about missing these interviews. We and what I mean, what I mean by that is like you know like talking to up and coming like they, they, yeah. they're still in the trenches. You feel me? Like that's a fact. it feel like it feel like I'm going uh what's the word? I'm going celebrity or. Man, but I ain't going celebrity. I'm still yeah, outside. Just working, bro. Yeah. It's just a process. I'm yeah. still outside. You hit me, and yeah. what I say, pull up, right? Pull up. I exactly. stood on my word and, and all I, that. You feel me? That. So yeah, that I think we talk. It's crazy because the last time we talked, I still was on the same. Just and what that was up and coming. You was with uh web. Yeah, I was a web. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. how that go? What happened like that? I was, was like that? 2018, 2019. Sheesh. Yeah, I was a minute. <laughs> Been doing this. I've been in the trenches. Don't play with me. You feel me? And he brought like twenty of y'all, yeah, and I got in trouble for that. Word. That's why, I, bro. Listen, man. That's why I be talking about these radio stations all the time. But I definitely got in trouble. They ain't see. They ain't understand the vision. But it was. Yeah. It was a lot. I brought twenty to a radio station. That's type of crazy. Yeah, I feel. It felt like some American Idol. Shit anyway, <laughs> like he was choosing five. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, how, but how, how did that go? Cause he still like working. Like, what do? You, what does he do really? I don't know. Bro, mm-hmm. God bless him though. That's all. I know. Oh, y'all must have fell out. Oh. Nah, I ain't fell out. Nah, 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 for <laughs> real, God, nah, I ain't fell out. Nah, nah, nah. like I, I mean, know he's he still doing his thing, but I just don't know. Like, what was that though? Like it was like that was just um he was just he just had a bunch of artists that I guess he just messed with, and mm-hmm. he was just like yo, we just hit the road together. So I was just all with it because it was my first time actually going on the road. So okay. I'm like, did it work in your favor a little bit? Or? Yeah, because I got to meet people like you. Fact. <laughs> I know, no cap, no cap. You but, is it is it any different though? That's like. Like moving on your own, it's different when you like dealing with somebody who like got some notoriety yeah. and people doing them a favor than like yeah. you on your own. Are you are you noticing to see people like change anything on a um I weird think, energy type? Stuff? I think it's just best that um you just get as much experience as you could, mm-hmm. and then after that you just go upon and just do your thing. Cause like I got the all the experience I can get, and then now I just be on my own thing, or sometimes I be on my team. So it's just. It just depends, but I think it's like experience from that situation and just being on the road. But but I I'm saying like people it. like me, like you say you can reach out to me, yeah, hit me in. Sh- yeah, is it um, are you seeing a difference of people like treating you differently? If that makes sense, um, like any somebody you might have met back in like back in 2018 because you was dealing yeah, with a certain person, certain person and yeah. now you hit him, it's like yeah, Damn, bro, you can't even yeah, respond. Me, yeah, 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 I feel you. I feel it be like that sometimes, but. People are gonna be people. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I try not to stress about. Shit, so I just be trying to. Yeah, no, I'm with it. I, I, um, 
the thing that that stood out the most to me so far, it mm -hmm. was like, bro, I got some questions for you, bro. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, this got questions for me. Like, why you got your own questions? Nah, honestly, um, cause I've been in interviews before that, like, you know, I guess you know, the, I guess the interviewer he probably did a lot of interviews or stuff. He did with a lot of artists, so sometimes they don't know what to ask me or they forget what to ask me, whatever. So I try not to be in a situation like that ever. Again, <laughs> that's like crazy. I mean, I, I, it's like part of me get it, but part of me don't. Like, yeah, nah, because it's still unprofessional. Yeah, like, like that's day, unprofessional. You feel yeah. me? But at the same time, it's like you know. But how you not even know how to just have a com like we need not we not even doing yeah, an interview. Right. We're still having we a just, conversation. Just though, right? Right. So exactly. It's like, yeah, yeah. That's like crazy. Yeah. Jeez. All right. So I told I told you I wanted to do this on camera. So yeah, let's nah, see. Sure. Let's. I'm. A, I'm. A, we're gonna run through your questions like I would. Like we would do it I, if we wasn't on camera. All right. Not for sure. Right, let's run through the, this is I you, thought this was so dope. Like, <laughs> oh, got his own question. You, you gotta to, text uh, your friend. Next time you gotta tell your friend, yo, just text him, right? Act like you my like my manager or something. Yeah. Like, hey, this is the one she this is this is the question. I, I text you the questions. Uh send you All right, the let's, let, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's I'll see what you, you got. All right. So say, yo, I got um my questions and side so note, since we can did impromptu, MJ, I told MJ. Yeah. Communicate with Kyron. MJ go from here to over <laughs> his. Mark. We were talking about the middle shot. She walked through both shots. I was like, Damn. I saw you, Kyron. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. She walked through both of the shots. So y'all might see her. So we ain't going to cut that out. I might, but we might not. Just for, for the hell of it. Yeah, um, yeah. Damn. So, all right. First energy. of all, that's kind of You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Ten. Yeah. That's not bad. That's, that's not bad. Plus, all right. So, you know? um, uh, opening been in your butcher. I I be seeing these on people question list. Yeah, and like, why is that important to you? I feel like it's important so um like people can like kind of see like the the horizon of mm -hmm. how, where you are going because I started off doing open mics before okay. anything, and now I'm opening up for bigger artists now. Right. So we're just just showing people like this the transition. So I've been in the game though, right? So we want to talk about let's talk about is this a is this a somebody hitting you to open up for them, or is this like, yo, I can pay and open up for them? Okay, so for all these situations, um, I actually was blessed to know somebody from the team. And that's and actually, I can just give some little game real quick. Like, sometimes you don't have to go directly to the artist. You can just go to somebody small and, and, and that play a lesser role in mm -hmm. their team. And then you, you that's how you get to them. So that's basically like how I did it. I met the uh, his booking manager at Rolling Loud, mm -hmm. and then he just hit me for a show. Like, yo, pull up, and then... We just made it happen. Damn, this is dope. This is in New York or um, this is the Rolling Loud New York. I met him in, and then we did the show in Chicago. Sheesh. Yeah. Was, so you had to just you just flew down there. Yeah, I flew out there. Yeah. Damn. What, what made him just hit you to do with Chicago? Usually it'd be like somebody that from that area or something. Nah, he just hit me <laughs> to do it, bro. I just, I don't know. Fuck it. Nah, that's hard. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up. Bro, that's, <laughs> so you did something with five, Fabio? Yeah, Fabio. What uh, you do with Fabio? Um, we just um, I opened up for him in Albany. Um, we got to um chop it up and stuff we got to you know he got to see my performance and stuff we got to go on stage and stuff so i definitely appreciate him because a lot of new york artists is like they don't really um i wouldn't say that we like you know we be bougie but you mm -hmm. know we kind of bougie you know what i'm saying so for him to just show me love is like yeah that's so I, so i didn't mean to ask you that when i ain't but that's, cool. that's cool that's cool what else i see open up for two right we ain't about to talk about everybody opening up for yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was only you know three saying? people. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just, I'm just running. I'm telling you, we, we running it. Like they gonna get this is like behind the scenes, but on the scenes. Like you're gonna see. Type. Yeah, nah, so, for sure, for sure. Uh, I, I did want to talk about this one though. This is hard because okay. I was rocking with Flip. So you did a uh, song with we'll Flip. Got eight, 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 eight million streams. streams with, yeah. with, with we'll Flip, Flip the right? Yeah. Right. So Flip is from New York too. Where are you from? Yeah, he's from New York. What, what part of New York you from? I don't know. I believe Brooklyn. If so I'm you, not mistaken. New York ain't really <laughs> friends, bro. That's crazy. So I actually was with Flip. Okay. Way before his song, the um, Leave, Leave Me, Me Alone. Alone. Yeah. Way before that. Shit, okay, you was messing with his music. Like, okay. Yeah, way before that, right? Okay. I still ain't never talked to him, so uh, DJ Khaled, not for real, but you yeah. know how it is. It's all love. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Khaled. We're we gonna, we gonna make it a clip so they can only respond to negative shit anyway. So, <laughs> and I apologize on the back. <laughs> hey, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Don't, a, don't respond to love. love like, when you yeah. show the love, love, it's like so many people showing them love, but as soon as you hate on it. Yeah, it's gonna respond to the hate ASAP. That's retarded. <laughs> what you said about me? Facts. <laughs> but no, I, I with his music, man. Um, nah, what song dope. did you do with him? So we did. Um, so I had a song called MMM, mm -hmm. and um, it was going up locally. Um, he got to hear about it through my um uh, my bro Kid Flash, 
And he was just like, yo, I just want to hop on it. Mm. Like, didn't charge me, don't did nothing. That's he crazy. pulled up to the video shoot. We did promo for me. And, yeah, we went up. And I didn't even know the song was going to go that crazy. It just, I just dropped it and just, boom. Like, That's hard. You, you know, should have punched me in my mouth when I said, because <laughs> that did a great solid. That's you know, a, uh, yeah, that. um, yeah, he really, um, he, he he really show love. I ain't That's gonna lie. That's crazy. He really show love. He cleared the record and all that for Sheesh. me. All that. A lot of people don't even do that. Like, to do the song and they try like they yeah, can't pick up the bro, phone. He cleared the record for me. Like yo, you could drop it. Like it's yours. Damn. Like and I'm That's like, hard. wow. That's fire. Like he ain't want a dollar from this. Now shout out to my man. He deserves some flowers for that. Nah, dude, for he sure. definitely. Yeah, he working. He he got a lot of stuff going on. It's just you know everybody got different label situations. Nah, so facts. yeah. You know what's crazy about New York, bro? What? Like it's so much talent there. Of course. Yeah. You got the Mecca of hip hop. Right. What's that? The Bronx or uh, um the Mecca of hip hop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bronx. Yeah, it started right. from the Bronx. Right. Yeah. So we got the Mecca of hip hop there. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I feel like a lot of people don't know. Okay. It's beef heavy. Like it's really yeah. street. Like it. Yeah. Like it ain't like all this industry thing. Like it's mm -hmm. like really being the streets the street, there. Yeah. And like it be real it though. Be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah. It, it starts from the youngins to. To us, you know, like oats and people middle age like me to the OGs, like, but it's all about like, it's like who you like be like surround yourself with. You mm -hmm. feel me? Cause like a lot of a lot of it be like you know, just street, politics, street yeah. politics and stuff. So and a lot like, of it be uh like old that like you. It's like you kind of like grew up in it. Grew up in it. Right. Yeah. It's not even your beef. Yeah. is like family. Like you could literally live in a building in the projects and just have beef just cause you live there. Like type. Just cause you from that building, you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And you it's said, crazy. um, you said you get a lot of love in the A, bro. Yeah, I get. I ain't gonna say exactly what you said, but it's nah, crazy. nah, I get love in the A. Nah, for sure, I get love in the A. Um, this is like, like my eighth time, ninth Damn. time out here. Like for real. Like every time I come out here, I just network with people and just try to do my best with networking. So every time I come here, I just at least try to leave at least. My goal was like when I first co start coming in 2018 was leaving like 10, 20 Instagrams. It went from that to like hundreds of people, and then you know, just bro, this is independent this is, yeah. from the ground up, bro. It's like this is it don't get no more to the independent than this, bro. Like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get like 10 Instagram followers, yeah, 100 Instagram, Instagram followers. followers, yeah. No, nah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, you grow up from there because like them same people, even if like let's say let's say out of the ten, like. Three people show you love. Psh, that's a win. Nah, they from facts. Atlanta. You from New York. So, yeah, that's how I took it. That's how I took it as. Yo, you started making music, what, 10 years ago, you said? Yeah, 10 years ago. So, so I was 15. 10 years. Atlanta was, was, it was like just beginning to be like hot. It was lit 10 years ago, I feel like. It was lit. It was lit 10 years ago. I feel like you been from New York. I feel like we we get these comparisons now. Mm -hmm. Like Atlanta and New York. Uh -huh, yeah. Like, because at one time, it was like New York. Over everything, everything, yeah. And now Atlanta kind of like slid yeah, and took over. It. They got like I think, um, like a lot of the times, like when New York, when we talk about like the the separation with it, we uh, a lot of people bring up Atlanta, like oh everybody in Atlanta, you go to Atlanta, and they don't care where you from New York or they don't care where you from. You just be in the studio and everybody just working, yeah. and it's not like that out here. So it is definitely like um, yeah. it's definitely. I like heard that. New York is like. Like really home centric, like yeah, home team. Yeah, yeah like home we with the home team. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. Home <laughs> I mean, team. you got you got a plus, you got one up. Yeah, you from there. <laughs> like, yeah. Yo, it's, it's crazy because um, even still, as much as I can joke about it, New York really still that place to be. Yeah, for sure. Like when it kind of like yeah, anything. For sure. <laughs> like, for sure. Like it's, for sure. That's, that's that's for sure. Like like even when um. Um, like even with like media or just yeah. getting to know people or just how diverse New York is, no I care. feel like there's no place on earth that's so diverse in New York. No so care. yeah, I definitely feel you with that. All right, so look, if y'all just tuned in, right? Yeah. Uh, this is uh Saint Rose, Corey Saint Rose. He has a list of questions. I thought it was interesting that he brought his own questions because for it, it, it shows you a lot about the guy, right? Mm -hmm. Shows you that he prepared. Um, he's a professional. You get what I'm saying? So even if the person that's interviewing him not prepared, he's want to make sure that it still go good. So I thought this was so dope. So I was like, yo, don't give me the questions. First of all, I ain't need his questions. I got my own questions. <laughs> I'm prepared. You know what I mean? But I thought it was interesting. So, uh, um, so that's, what, that's what we have. You just came in. So uh, we did the flip in there, bro. Mm -hmm. Eight million streams. You got a plaque for that. Yeah, I got a plaque for that, yeah. Jeez. And that was on yours? Yes, yeah. Congratulations. Crazy. Thank that's you. I appreciate that. Hey, I, I did the interview with Webb. I think I need a plaque. 
You got some. <laughs> 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 you got some more. Bro, come on, man. But yeah, no, let's, sure. <laughs> let's see. Um, I heard you got to pay for those. You got to pay for yeah. your own plaque. Yeah. That's retarded. Yeah. Like, if you, like, um, okay, every, everybody's situation is different. But if you're independent and you get a plaque, mm-hmm. you have to pay for it. If you're signed, maybe the label, label pays, pays for it. Right. But nine times ten, yeah, you got to pay that, for that's it. That's not dumb. I think it's crazy. <laughs> it's I think crazy. it's crazy. But if you get to know like the business behind it, because it's actually people that make it and handmade everything, it makes sense. You know. As oh, okay, as so you gotta pay for the labor type. Yeah, yeah, the la- yeah. You paying for the labor basically. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yo, what you think about? Um, I don't know if you've seen a clip going crazy. Uh, Snoop Dogg. I know. I told you we were going, going to tell no, you. No, no, wait. wait well, Snoop Dogg. Snoop what? Dogg was just wilding on stage. He wasn't wilding like that, but he was basically saying like, you know, like we need to get this streaming together yeah you feel me like when he first when oh, he was yeah, coming for up sure, for sure. he was selling copies of, you know what i'm saying so you know mm-hmm. where the money going yeah he's i think like, he said um there's no way you can get, get a billion streams, streams and not make a million dollars. dollars yeah for sure do you how, what you think about that i honestly i feel him because it's just like like um i think to even make like a dollar or something i'm, I'm paraphrasing i'm just remembering how i was taught but um even to make a dollar of spotify you got to make like 3,500 streams, something like that. But it's just like, if you, like back in the day, you just sell 3,500 people listen to your music and buy your stuff, yeah, that's, that's that's totally different. Right. So, yeah, I feel like they do gotta, like, gotta change the rules with that, but it's just, it is what it is. Like, even, even with YouTube, like, facts. payout is less. With Spotify, Talk to Apple, me. you know Talk to me. Like, Tell me people, please, let them know. Tax- <laughs> <laughs> let them know, even with YouTube. Like, but no, I, um, uh, it, but even still, it's crazy because, like, what you said was, I'm trying to remember what I learned yeah. or what I heard. Like, yeah. the fact that, like you said, you it's, it's, it's no clear, like, cut clear idea or picture what's going on. Exactly. Right? It's like, I gotta, like, you're an artist. You should be able to tell me up, down. And I can't even tell you up, down about YouTube, to be honest. Because yeah. that shit is it's always. Cool. It's, Cra- yeah, it's bro. crazy. And then they it's, change. Yeah. When they they- yeah, they changed. It. I heard it did like a lot of changes with it recently. I didn't uh, YouTube or YouTube. I heard it did a lot of changes recently. I didn't hear. It. I didn't know the direct thing. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. They doing a lot of changes in the music industry too. I heard they they bring it back to um, like the packaging uh, albums and merchandise. Oh, yeah, I like seen that. that with the Billboard. Yeah, yeah. It's, man, let's go back to your <laughs> question. Your question is way better. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. Got your plaque. Upcoming collaborations. Mm, we can talk about that later. Um, single Maybach, uh, modern one. All right, yeah. how do I say this? Kasabi? Kas- Kasubi. Kasubi. What is that? Um, it's, it's this brand right here. Shout out Kasubi. You know, uh, I model for them. Okay. Yeah, yeah I got these socks on too. Going crazy for them, bro. Bro, you think this a model? This ain't no model. <laughs> <laughs> Stood up, turned around, bro. You don't sit down, yeah, right? I gotta show them love. They show me <laughs> love, for real. They no, show no. me love. If they show you good love, <laughs> you definitely gotta show them love. I want you. <laughs> What I'm saying, <laughs> but no. What, so it's not like a um. It's a clothing brand. It's a local brand or? Nah, it's it's global. It's everywhere. It's like Australia, New York, these, Atlanta, Chicago. What what like what is? I'm trying to figure out. Tell me about these. Yeah, they, they go crazy. I've been I'm knowing about Kasubi for like ten years. They so, doing sponsorships? Yes. No. Yeah, they sponsor me now. Yeah. <laughs> can they yeah, sponsor me? <laughs> no, that you can. Yeah, we can see what's up. We can see what's up. I can put the word in for Let's sure. See. How, how I spell it? K K S U B I. K S U B I. Yeah, I'm about to look it. Oh, they, they pop up. Yeah, Kasubi Genius. Yeah, 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 everywhere. How you get? How you managed to do this? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, talk to me, dog. Talk to me, nice. You feel me? Nah, I- this is, this is a good question because oh, no, a lot of people right. ask me. Yeah, this is, they go right. viral. Yeah, yeah. Viral. <laughs> viral. Yeah, talk to me. What's going on? Uh, yeah, a lot of people actually um ask me about it. I didn't really get to t- tell anybody. So it was actually my first time talking about it. So it was actually dope to do it on your platform. Appreciate it, dog. But, um, okay, so I knew about Kasubi since 2012, since I was in high school because of ASAP Rocky. He used okay. to wear it all the time. ASAP Rocky is like one of the top five with fashion, in my opinion. For right? sure. But, um... So the brand got discontinued for like a two, three years. So I'm thinking like, ah, oh, man, like, damn, like to find Kasubi, you got to go to like thrift stores and stuff. Okay. So I was just collecting Kasubis, just doing my regular thing. And then um, they came back out and then I just started reaching out like around 2016, 2017, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Kept reaching out, kept reaching out. They haven't reached out. Um, they just, the most they did was like a story that I uh, mentioned them in. Okay. So I was like, okay, we we we, 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 we,
I went, I went, I used to go to the store in New York and just tell them like, yo, I was like, you know, my name's Corey St. Rose, you know, um, who's the, who's the manager here? You know, I'm going to model for them, da, da, da. And, um, you know, they did, they, they always just gave me the run around. So I'm like, all right, cool. So, um, this past, um, February, I went to, um, to California for Grammy week. Mm -hmm. So I'm driving past, I, I think it was on Melrose and I see the Kasubi store and I'm like, let me ask them like, let me ask them like, what, what's what's up? So I go in there, I ask like, yo, who's the manager? I, I'm Corey Sun Rose. I want to model. The the person gave me the um the email. I emailed them, and then what's boom, I, it was up from there. It's just Sheesh. simply just from axing and just not being scared and just 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 going and just doing that. Like that's so real. important, bro. A lot of people yeah. be acting like they too above it to ask like acts of yeah I, I said something um on somebody else's podcast i'm like bro i really came from nothing it ain't no such thing as not asking yeah God. i seen that <laughs> like, yeah i seen that for ain't sure ain't no such thing like bro uh, when yeah. you i feel like if you got too much pride of ego to ask for help yeah then you come correct. from a privileged background i'm just yeah. i'm sorry like, i came from nothing you think i <laughs> hey excuse me i need some help can you help me, help me? no yeah. cool it's okay exactly I'm still, i don't I feel like people people just got too much ego. Yeah, like, too much ego and pride. You, like, you know bro, what I'm, I'm saying? good. I'm still going to get it on my own. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But it is. It's definitely important for artists to just, like, if you want to contact somebody, just try any means. Like, it's literally all your favorite artists did it. Everybody Facts. was. Everybody said they was annoying or whatever the case may be, but it all worked out in the end. So. Facts. I'm probably the most annoying. <laughs> like, boy, like, I don't stop, boy. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. So let's see. <laughs> That's hard. Um, yeah. Okay. Multiple billboards. Is this, is, we're talking about the billboards. Is this marketing promotion or? Um, well, as far as uh, the billboard, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, it was for okay. marketing. Okay. 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 That's yeah. smart. I mean, a lot of people, we ain't going to give them that play for real. We ain't even gonna give him that. Play. <laughs> we ain't gonna give him that play, bro. You feel me? Like you got billboards up in New York. It's what? Yeah, yeah. It's shout, a, shout out to Kareem. Shout out to Kareem. That's my um distribution. Okay. Yeah. So wait, it. is this uh all around distrib distribution, music yeah. and marketing? Uh, yeah, it just yeah. Damn, that's hard. That's hard. That's that's hard. How how did you um link with that? Um, so that was just through like just knowing people and just yo, just my okay. boy Corey, uh, da, da, and then um. Yeah, they just they just they just mess with me. They just been showing me a lot of love and just supporting me um with my with my record, especially with MMM mm -hmm. and my new record right now. So um So yeah. they do dis distribution through music too? Yeah, they just do music. Yeah. It's not even it's not a record label, it's just like oh, okay. a, just a distribution. That's hard. Yeah, that's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. That's so hard. still you yeah, still independent, you know? I mean, if you if you sign a distribution deal, that's still independent, right? Yeah, you know? it's still independent because it's like you. St I still own my masters. I right. still own all these things. It's just you're just taking a uh, percentages off distribution, which is the same thing when you do the tune core, right? And yeah. all the anything, yeah. So it's, and I think uh, one of the big ones is um who uh all the Detroit niggas signed to um who. I think PNB Rock was signed to them. They always talk about this star shit. Empire. Empire. Okay, yes. That, yes that's yes, yes, strictly yes. distribution, right? Yeah, strictly distribution. But they Man, and, and it's dope um, for, like, distributions like like that just because, like, you like, sometimes when you drop, like, artists just drop a song and sometimes, like, they need help. Mm -hmm. And, like, literally some of the distributions, you can't contact them. Only way you can do it is through email. Like, these are people that it's in the office. You can go to. You can talk to them. So... I feel like that's so dope. Like, but distribution is strictly just 
distributing it. Yeah, like just, they're not just, promoting it or nothing like that. No, no. no if yeah, dude, you could you um they can help you promote it, oh, and then you could try to get like a budget behind you. Depending on everybody's situation is different, mm -hmm. but you know definitely if they get a budget behind you or they just believe in you or whatever the case may be, but. I ain't gonna lie, you yeah. make this independent shit sound real cool. I know, it's, <laughs> I know it's way harder than what you you make. You, you, you wear it nice, man. No, nah, no, nah. like, you make it seem cool. Nah, honestly, it's just it's it's literally um studying people like Nip, studying people like um uh, like Chance, mm. um or just even studying like just the up and coming like um up and coming um artists that's been coming up and um just seeing like how they move and who they sign to and whatever because a lot of people are still independent a lot of people are signed to majors or a lot of people are signed to an artist that's mm -hmm. signed to this to that so um it's so many different ways you can go about it so um i feel like just um the independent for me right now is just the best route i feel like um a lot of artists they go to major labels and like they like they're not fully developed yet, or they, they they can't get the 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 best situation. You know what I'm saying? Cause if I go to like, I'm not the biggest artist right now, but I'm you know I'm still doing my thing. But if I go to a major label right now, let's say I get a million dollars, let's say they give me a million dollars, them terms is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They want it back plus interest plus interest on top of the interest. Like they exactly. Going. But if you come there with leverage. It's a whole different ball game. That's crazy. I was talking to the dude Hancho. I don't know if you're familiar with Hancho, but um, he was saying the same thing. He was like, he he got signed off of his song. Damn, what was the song, Kyron? Help me out. Um, charge to my charge to my brain, not my heart, bro. Um, but no, nah, we ain't gonna do that. So it, whatever, he had dropped a single. He got signed. Okay. And he was saying I was talking to him about being signed. He was like, it's cool, but if he did it again. He would he would have a couple hits on his belt, yeah. Because like so he can have more leverage for real. Exactly. And like I feel like I never I never really had that conversation with somebody. I never I never even looked at it like I never even know it was like that. Yeah, because it's like some people like like you get your first hit and then you had yeah, major label want to sign you. It's like oh like you know some people don't have the the business um, mind of it. You know I'm I'm grateful to have a. Um, not only a great family behind me, but just great people that just know about the business um, around me to tell me, you know, because I've definitely been in situations I was about to sign, but I had spoke to the right person. Like, you watch your fucking mind. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it sounds so tempting, right? Yeah. Like, you think you think it's lit the whole time. They be messing you over. It's like, man. Yeah. But the single was uh, Let's Get It, um, Honcho. That, 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 that was the Let's Get song. It. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah yeah, 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 I know about that. I was actually bumping that my last trip in Atlanta. Yeah. It was on Rap Caviar, yeah. Yeah, so um, that was that. But you, uh, for sake of uh the conversation, you just dropped. Yes, what, yes. What's, what's the... What's the what's the song? Okay, the song's called Maybach. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, just made a song about my first time in the Maybach. <laughs> in <laughs> it, not even owning it. Just yeah, in it. yeah, just just just. In hey, it. it's, we gonna cheers to everything. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> like, we celebrate every every small win, every big one, everything. Yeah, I for like sure, that. That's for hard. sure, for sure. And then um, yeah, just the song just basically just my first time in the Maybach, just being still with my peoples from. Um, from the bottom mm -hmm. to um, where we I'm at right now, and just just showing just how important it's just to be like just be with your gang and just have fun. Like you feel me? Cause nah, facts. um, I've been in this doing this thing for ten years, and a, um, you know somebody that could probably see me from the beginning to now, they'd be like, oh man, Corey, he went through this person, this da 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 da. But it's just like that's just business. You mm. feel me? These are not my bros. These mm. are not my people. It's just I'm just. Yo, um, you know, you're, you're a manager, you're an assistant, or you do PR, all right, let me see what you do. Okay, it didn't work out, all right, cool. Like, right. you know, no hard feelings, just keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just just stay in tight with your click. Nah, that's dope. Sure. That's, that's super important, bro. And it's, you know what else is super important? Mm -hmm. it, it seems like you got a lot of gratitude, mm -hmm. right? Just being like, I know it's hard. Hell but like right. I said, you make it seem easy, but that shows how grateful you are for where you are. At. Yeah, you know what I'm saying grateful, there's yeah, so yeah. many people in that position, and they like they bitter kind of. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But they not grateful for where they at. And I feel like if it, it feels like you're super. Nah, grateful. for sure, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for um for art for a lot of artists start now starting to like show me recognition. I'm grateful for Flip for giving me the verse um well for strength. Like there's so many things that like played out in my career. that's like yo like this don't happen, mm. you know what I'm saying? So you gotta just, you know, be grateful for it, for sure. No, nah, facts. What else did we um did we not touch on? It could be any of your questions, not any of your questions. Uh, you're working with some people, some, some you got some more things coming up, like what's going on, talk to me. Yeah, um, working with a couple people. Um, definitely, um, I ain't gonna give too much, cause I, I, I definitely, um, 
about to drop my project soon. Mm-hmm. So it's old, most. When are you dropping the project? Uh, I'm dropping it in July. Okay. Sometime in July. Okay. You know. Shit, you might as well drop some names then. Fuck it. We can. <laughs> nah, I'm yeah. dropping a name I'm right now. I said we can use we can we can use this for when you uh for when you about to then, drop. Uh, yeah. um, yeah. Nah, I got um ATL Jacob on it. That's hard. Crazy. Is uh, he on it or he producing? Which one? He, oh yeah, he produced it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He Cause you know he making music now. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah he produced know. it. Um, is is not a turn up record because everybody probably gonna think it's like some crazy thing. It's actually something for the ladies. Okay. And it's um it's dope. Like it's dope. Shout out um DB. Yeah, um, he he um, put it together. Him and um, D, uh, is a, a guy named Produced by DB and um, ATL Jacob. They collabed on it. That's hard. That's hard. And then, yeah, he got me on it. So yeah, I appreciate him for what else? That who else you got on there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's promo for the <laughs> We're gonna we gonna leave it for that. That's that's just it for right now. Right, Everything's just it in the works. Okay. The works. Right. Yeah, What's yeah, the name yeah. of the project? You know the name yet? Um yeah, yeah. Saint Rose Season. Um Saint Rose Season. The reason why I'm calling Saint Rose Season is because um for one, um, to get people to finally say the Saint Rose right, you know, I got crazy names. Like I remember one time somebody called me Street Rose. Because okay. of the ST. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Or people call me Strolls, and it's like, okay, no, it's St. Rose. So, um, yeah, I just want to get the point That's across. That's because they're not doing research. Yeah, 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 yeah they're being lazy Google with search, it. Right, like, god damn. Like, <laughs> this, I ain't gonna lie to you, because, like, so many people come in, they be like, damn, how you know, how you know, how you like, bro, like, you do know what's, like, is right there on the internet. In the internet, right, like, exactly. And most people don't do that research, and I'm like, That's pitiful yeah that's that's crazy. crazy yeah sometimes i'll be like um you know saint john university yeah saint Rose. Saint Rose. <laughs> like, whatever so um what's, yeah. we got you got a date july um no nah, i don't got an official date that's what i said don't quote me when july okay because okay. you know stuff happens but definitely is coming out this summer and um yeah like definitely appreciate platforms like uh, you anytime. you know what i'm saying i don't know we about to wrap up but i just wanted to say like yo bro I've been watching your growth mm. for a minute. You Appreciate know, I want to give you your flowers. I'm watching your growth for a minute. I've been seeing you going up, and it's just good to just watch from the outside looking in. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, now we're in, we're inside. Pause. We, we talk to each other. You feel me? Like, exactly. we shaking hands. Exactly. And that's, you know that's the saying? beauty in this shit. Like, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, it's sometimes where niggas get busy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's other times when, like, niggas can't catch up with, with one another and chop it up. You feel me? Exactly. And, and that's dope. I think that's the dope thing about it because you never know. When is somebody it's turn? Yeah. And then I would be like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> and you gonna be like, yeah, remember? So Not for sure. Yeah, you and gotta it, stay grounded, it, man. Definitely gonna do a part two, you Not know, for sure. stuff go more 100%. way 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 more up. I always ask this, any missed opportunities, anything that I missed that I, that we didn't talk about that that was Um no, I think we I think we pretty much cover everything. I think uh-huh. we pretty much cover everything. This is was fire. Like I um I just I just say um, shout out New York, mm-hmm. um, shout out my boy K Flash, shout out Flip De Niro, um, shout out Favi, the whole team. They all show me love, and um, yeah, we just we we working. We no, working. I appreciate it, brother. Yo, yeah. Ah, Corey St. Rose, J Hill, J Hill podcast is wrapped. We out, gang. Let's go.